The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. The Farm Bill fights have reached a boiling point in Washington, D.C., even before the House markup scheduled for this Thursday begins. With Ag Democrats mounting a full court press against Chairman G.T. Thompson's GOP proposal, unleashing an exhaustive roster of hunger, conservation and labor groups who oppose it. But the American Farm Bureau, National Cattlemen's Beef Association and even the National Farmers Union see much they like in the House version. Historically, farm bills have been bipartisan. So if you look back through history, because of the agricultural portions and the nutrition portions and just all of the reach that a farm bill has, they're passed in a bipartisan manner. And this year, I don't think will be any different. There's going to be a lot of debates about particular pieces of the farm bill and policy across all 12 titles. But ultimately, I think what you'll see is a bipartisan farm bill. Chairman Thompson is coming down as he's doing an across the board reference price increase that is 10 to 20 percent over what is currently the statutory reference price. Farm Bureau really believes that that 10 to 20 percent increase is meeting the moment. While Senate Ag Chair Stabenow's plan at 5 percent more heavily favors southern crops and producers. Stabenow would lower the AGI income cap to $700,000 for farmers to receive farm payments as well. They might have a gross income that's over 700000 but a net income where they don't make any money that year because of the increased expenses that they've faced on farm. Just the reality of farming in today's uh, inflationary environment, that's not going to work for a lot of farms and ranches. Stabenow is also proposing some changes to the Conservation Reserve Program. She's increasing the number of acres and she's increasing the payment rate. That is a little bit of a concern for us. Many believe the Conservation Reserve Program competes with beginning farmers and ranchers trying to buy or lease land out in the countryside. Back to the House version of the Farm Bill, Chairman Thompson hopes he can muster some bipartisan support in committee and advance the bill on Thursday of this week, which will be a tall order in an election year. And of course, the possible need for an extension of a farm bill by September 30th. We'll be right back.